Hello, friends. There are various religious movements in our world. There are statues built of deities, temples erected for worship, and monasteries. But there are also cave temples, such as the Dambula Temple in Sri Lanka. In China, one can also find monasteries and temples carved into the mountains. One of the best examples of these kind of structures are the Maijishan Grottoes. The Buddhist complex Maijishan is little known. It is located in Gansu province in the northwest of China. This is a striking rock-cut architecture complex. Maijishan has 7,000 Buddhist sculptures and nearly 1,000 square meters of murals. The incredible caves of Maijishan look like the backdrop for a sci-fi movie or a dystopia in which people were forced to tunnel through the mountains and live high above the ground in order to avoid predators below. The Maijishan Grottoes, built over 1,500 years ago, are a series of 194 caves cut in the side of an almost sheer sandstone cliff. Caves hanging over the cold lands of Gansu province look somewhat like a sponge. Black holes dot the stone vaults and highlight massive rock-cut Buddhist statues. These caves located in the far north of modern China have undergone many changes over time, being transformed under the influence of new cultures and peoples. They survived over 12 dynasties, retaining Buddhist motifs throughout their history. Although there are over 7,000 Buddhist statues in the caves, there are significant differences between them. Many of the statues, especially those inside the caves, are exquisite and richly decorated. The more complex sculptures aren't usually made of local rocks, which means that the material for these huge and beautiful statues was brought up the mountainside from somewhere else. We could think as much as we'd like, but we won't find answers to all the questions that these grottoes are fraught with. However, the beauty of the mysterious caves and carvings are more important than the archaeological mysteries. This place is also known as Wheat Stack Mountain. Rugged with stairs, windows and entrances, from a distance it really does look like a stack of straw. However, when looking from a distance, the caves most resemble a large anthill or a beehive, 142 meters high. Grottoes made in the mountain are connected by stairs and passages only from the outside. There are no passages between rooms inside the mountain. Initially, the stairs were made of wood, but later they were replaced with more reliable metal structures. Buddha is a highly revered god in Asia, and therefore, there are over 7,200 different statues of this god in the Maijishan Grottoes. They vary from small ones made of clay or stone to huge 16-meter-high bas-reliefs carved right on the mountainside. More than 1,300 square meters of ancient frescoes have been preserved on the walls of the monastery. Also, over 2,000 ceramic, bronze, iron objects, paintings, old books, and documents were found there. The temple dates back to the 4th century AD. It was then that the construction of the first caves and the monastery began. The Maijishan Grottoes are located close to the ancient Silk Road, and monks often stop there. There is a theory that the monastery initially served as a place where all gods were worshipped, regardless of religion, although Buddhism eventually supplanted other religions. To date, the complex has 194 grottos at a height of 30 to 80 meters. To this day, there are Buddhist monks living in the monastery, and the monastery itself is a museum where one can see the cultural life and religious art from the time of ancient China, almost to the present day. And despite the fact that many rooms are closed to tourists, the monastery doesn't lose its popularity because it isn't only the Maijishan Grottoes that attract travelers, but also their beautiful surroundings. Friends, that's all for today. Like the video, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time.